Are you tired of the messy, back-breaking work of maintaining your own lawn? Wouldn't it be great to be able to enjoy your free time without subjecting yourself and your family to the risks of injury that come with manual lawn care? Or how about being able to display a precise pattern in all that grass? Hi, we're the interdisciplinary senior design team, Scabby, and we would like to introduce you to the LawnBot SD, the autonomous lawnmower of the future. The LawnBot SD from Team Scabby is not just a self-driving lawnmower. It will craft you the perfect manicured lawn and reduce the hassle of constantly maintaining it while giving you much more free time. Here's how it works. The entire system operates in the unlicensed radio frequency spectrum. Out of the box you will find the mower, charging station, and Marvel Mine GPS beacons. Simply place the stationary Marvel Mine beacons within a 50 meter perimeter to create a wireless boundary that avoids the hassle and mess of a wired system. Place the Lawn Bot SD and charging station within the perimeter and turn it on. The location of the Lawn Bot SD is calculated by using trilateration based on the propagation delay from a mobile beacon placed on board the LawnBot SD to a set of stationary ultrasonic beacons, providing precise location of the LawnBot SD to within two centimeters. The Raspberry Pi will be the controller for the entire mowing system. In our working prototype, we mounted the GPS system and the Raspberry Pi onto a small vehicle for initial calibration and programming. The position and direction of the mower is sent to the Pi from the GPS system using Universal Serial Bus, also known as USB. Once the Pi receives the location data, it then makes the necessary calculations to adjust the mower's telemetry to maintain the desired path while waiting for any activated interrupts necessary to satisfy essential safe operation protocols. The Marvel Mine GPS beacons include accelerometers and gyroscopes, which will be used to implement safety features. The accelerometer and gyroscopes will be able to detect sudden changes in direction. These abrupt changes will initiate two vital safety functions. The first function notifies the user on their device using an IFTT, if this, then that, which allows for notifications to be sent to users via text message, emails, or social media. The second function sends a terminate signal to all the motor functions, ceasing all movement including mower blade spin. The blades in use will be string trimmer heads, similar to those found on a weed eater. The low rotational inertia of the spring trimmer will allow the blade to slow and stop spinning much more quickly than a traditional solid metal blade without the use of a braking system. <laughs> 